the legacy of the arbiters if you want to see more awesome halo news and entertainment every day then be sure to subscribe here on halo follower the title arbiter was the highest possible rank given to an elite by the hierarchs the arbiter is the supreme military commander of the covenant his rank is equivalent to the didact for the foreigners and a four-star general for the unsc the arbiters served the covenant for hundreds of years eliminating any threat that opposed them with an unmatched finality. They brought death to billions to stop the rebellion of the Grunts. They were the ones who forced the Hunters into submission for the Covenant. The only guarantee with this title was the certainty of dying while serving the Prophets. Each Arbiter would sacrifice himself in battle as the one before him did and as the one after will do. An uh -huh. Arbiter by the name of Fal Chava Mi was the first one to ever question the faith of the Prophets and called a great Great journey a lie. The prophets declared him a heretic and dispatched a platoon of Singeli to eliminate him. In a desperate attempt to stop him, the Covenant killed Fowl's wife. Fowl responded with an insurmountable rage by single-handedly slaying an entire Covenant army before falling by the sword himself. From there on, the rank of Arbor was now a symbol being without honor, only to be regained through suicidal devotion to the Covenant. Hundreds of Years later, one of the most deadly arbors were selected, Reepa Morami, the arbiter we see in Halo Wars. He was a bad dude. He was a heretic elite who struck out on his people before being stopped by his own leader and was sentenced to death. Before his punishment came, however, the Prophet of Regret sought him out and paradoned him to be the arbiter. Reepa showed an obvious disregard for honor and arrogantly underestimated his foes. He is also extremely tall and muscular compared to most Singeli or even most Arbiters for that matter. He carried out his mission to eradicate humanity with fervent zeal and efficiency. Morami asked very few questions when it came to the Prophets. He was a submitter. He did whatever they asked. Yeah. The Prophet of Regret said, Do you enjoy the slaughter? And Reepa replies, I feel the joy of doing what I was born to do. I have no regrets. Save that I will not die fighting. This Arbiter also showed a particular fondness for grabbing humans by the neck as seen several times in his dominant interactions with humans on Harvest. At one point, he drags Dr. Anders by the throat despite explicit orders to capture her unharmed, probably taking pleasure in demonstrating his physical superiority over humanity. Like yeah. the rest, he says, of your race, weak and undisciplined. He was finally defeated in battle while gloating by what would have otherwise been an easy victory by none other than Sergeant John Forge, although minutes later, Sergeant Forge would meet the same fate as his great advisory. 20 years later, an elite Supreme Commander was on trial for failing to do his job, his job being to safeguard the newly discovered Halo Ring. However, the Master Chief destroyed this Halo installation, causing the this elite to be branded with the mark of shame. Mm -hmm. Normally, this highly decorated elite would have been executed on the spot, but instead, he was chosen to be the Arbiter, and his name was Del Vadam. Thel's first task was to eliminate a faction of rebel elites on a threshold gas mine that have learned of the Prophet's deceit through 343 Guilty Spark. Upon arriving at the gas mine, the rebels explain to Thel what lies the Prophet has been feeding him and the other parts of the Covenant. After learning the truth about the Prophets and the true purpose of Halo, Thel tried to convince the mighty brute Tartarus, the right hand of the Prophets, of their betrayal. Tartarus, blinded by his loyalty to the Hierarchs refused to listen and attacked Thel. Thel brought down this brute leader, thus beginning the relationship between elites and humanity. In Halo 3, the Arbor proposed a deal, a deal which accumulated with the assassination of the Prophet of Truth, the leader of the Covenant. The last we see of the Arbor in the Halo games is at the end of Halo 3, when the portal collapsed on the Ford onto Dawn, separating him from the Chief and Cortana. The Arbor then returns to Earth as Master Chief drips aimlessly in space for over four years. Delvadem says, and what will you call me when you learn the truth of what I have done? This video is obviously kind of old because the guy in this video doesn't mention the Arbiter being in Halo 5. Yeah, this is obviously a little bit old, but still really good information. I'm gonna have to link to the original video down below for you guys. My cat decided to 
jump up here yeah this video was like really really good i knew about all of these arbiters because i've seen the halo legends i've seen the cutscenes for halo wars and of course you know i've played halo 2 and halo 3 where the arbiter that we all know and love are you know those are the games that, that he's in. I liked how it was all summed up very, very nicely into like a nice, neat little bow. I like how the Arbiter that we know kind of changed the Arbiter way as it has been for years and years and years and years and years. Because, you know, you could kind of tell that the Arbiter, the title Arbiter and whoever wielded that kind of power, you know, depending on who they chose to be the Arbiter, you know, you, especially as the years went on, they, they gotta be better at selecting who they're gonna be and you know, who's gonna be the Arbiter because obviously at least two that we know of questioned the Great Journey way and then defied the prophets and defied the Great Journey, you know? So I feel like it was all bound to fall away at some point and that is really cool. I feel sorry for, I forget his name, but the first one that... Uh, he he mentioned in, in the video where the guy's wife got killed. I felt really bad about that. He was in the Halo Legends. I I feel I feel bad about that. I watched it and it was just sad. Yeah, this is a really good video.